In this video, you'll learn about the WPF Document Preview Control and see how to use this control to provide your WPF application with document preview functionality. To add a document preview to an application, drag the Document Preview Control from the Reporting section of the Visual Studio Toolbox and drop it onto a required window of your WPF application. Right-click the Added Control and select Layout Reset All in the Context menu to fill the entire window. Now specify a name for the added control. By default, the Document Preview has a ribbon toolbar. To switch to the Bars toolbar layout or remove the toolbar, click the Document Preview Smart Tag and in the Invoked Actions list, expand the Command Bar Style drop-down list and select the required option. To programmatically open a document in the Added Preview on Application Start, handle the Windows Loaded event. In the Event Handler, pass a document source of one of the supported types to the Document Preview Control's Document Source property. The Document Preview Control supports various kinds of document sources. You can use a report instance, a printing link, a stream containing document data, or a string containing a path to a document file. If you use a report or a printing link as a document source, don't forget to call the Document Source's Create Document method after assigning it to the Document Preview Control to generate document data. Now a simple reporting application for WPF is ready. Run the application to view the result. The Document Preview Control supports the Immediate Preview feature. This means that the Document Preview Control starts displaying a document immediately before the document is fully generated. The preview is generated using the GDI Plus library, which allows for pixel-perfect document rendering. The displayed document looks exactly as it would look on paper. Multi-page view is also supported. You can navigate between document pages using either a scroll bar or the corresponding toolbar commands. The Document Map panel reflects the hierarchy of document bookmarks. If a report contains bookmarks, the Document Map panel is displayed automatically. You can navigate between bookmarks by clicking the corresponding Document Map nodes. The Document Preview Control also provides a Parameters panel for specifying report parameters before document generation. The Parameters panel fully supports the Multi-Value Parameters feature as well as the Cascading Parameters feature. You can use mouse selection to select displayed document contents. After that, you can copy the selected contents to the clipboard and insert them to a third-party editor. The Document Preview Toolbar provides commands for navigation through a document, printing, and exporting. You can save a previewed document to a file using the Save command and open an earlier saved document from a file using the Open command. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.